my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Cinematic Kernel. In this video, we will learn how to connect Microsoft Copilot Studio agents with Cinematic Kernel to build smarter, more dynamic and tool integrated AI workflows. Whether you have already created a Copilot Studio agent or have no idea where to start, don't worry. Check out my videos where I walk through creating your first Copilot Studio agent step by step. That one I have created a safe travel agent. In this video, I will be using a sample safe travel agent and show you how to connect with Microsoft Cinematic Kernel to unlock external integration and enhance your AI's real world capabilities. To connect our Copilot Studio agent, first up, we have to create app registration in our Microsoft Azure portal. So my dashboard, I go to my overview session and here the add button, you can see the option called app registration. Click this menu and it redirects to our registered an application. Here we have to provide the app name. So app name, I call it as connect copilot studio agent, studio agent, this is my app name and who can use this application, I go with this single tenant, MEP account only and the redirect platform, first you have to select the platform, here I used public client native mobile and desktop option, so here enter HTTP localhost and click the register button to register this application. Application has been created successfully. We have to use the client ID and tenant ID. This will come little bit later. The next step, go to this app permission. And use the option add a permission. And here go to this API my organization uses and just search the Power Platform API. You have to choose Power Platform API and use a delegated permission. And if you scroll down, you can see there is option called Copilot Studio. And you have to choose this one, copilotstudio.copilots.invoke. Select this one and add permission. In case, if you're not able to see this option in your app registration, you have to execute the PowerShell script to enable this Power Platform API in your Azure account. As I mentioned earlier, while creating the app in the Azure portal, if you did not see the Power Platform API listed in under app permission, you need to manually enable it using the new Azure AD service principle command. So here are the steps, how to use this command. First, install the Azure AI module. If you already install, leave it. Second, you, second, connect to your Azure AD account using this command. This will prompt to you authenticate with your Azure account. Finally, you have to execute this command, new Azure AD principles app ID. This is the app ID for enable Power Platform API. After successfully running the above command, Go back to the Azure portal and you should now see the Power Platform API listed under the app permission. And you can create the new client secret for this app. Select this one and description connect copilot. And default is coming six months. It's okay. It's a demo. So I select the three months time period here and add. So this is our secret key. We have to copy it. Just copy this one. The notepad, I just note on the, my key. Created the app. Move to our Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, I have created one console application called the Connect Copilot Studio. In this one, first up, you have to install the NuGet package to connect our Copilot Studio. For that, go, go to the NuGet package manager and search Microsoft Cinematic Kernel Agents Copilot Studio install the latest version. In my project, I have already installed the supported packages. So I directly go to the program.cs file. 
So how to connect it? To connect the Copilot Studio, we have to use our app which we registered in the Azure portal. So for that, we need app, uh, client ID, tenant ID and uh, our application uh, secret. So I just add here string app client ID we need this one and tenant ID needed tenant ID and our app client secret we need. So this is a demo application. That's the reason I directly define my app ID, tenant ID, app client secret here. In production, you should not do like this. So the client secret I have noted here. So just copy this one and paste to this app client secret. And we need the client ID and tenant ID. So go to the overview session. And here you can see our client ID, this one, copy this one and paste it in client ID. The tenant ID overview section again and here you can see our tenant ID, copy this one and paste to this place. Simatic Kernel SDK offers a class called Copilot Studio Agent which is responsible for handling user prompt and communicating with Copilot Studio. This class requires Copilot client to manage interaction with the Copilot Studio features. Additionally, the Copilot client depends on the Copilot Studio connection settings, which provides the necessary connection details for accessing the Copilot Studio. So we have to use these three classes: Copilot Studio agent, Copilot client, and Copilot Studio connection settings. Copilot Studio agent and variable called copilot studio agent equal to new off so copilot studio agent need copilot object so we have to create the object for copilot client so here before that we create the, the copilot client and is called the copilot client and to create the object we have to use copilot studio agent dot create client so here we have to pass a copilot studio connection settings to create the copilot connection settings just go here before that one so copilot studio connection settings new off so here we have to pass the configuration se session or we can directly pass our tenant id app id and uh, app client secret so here for the first argument we have to pass tenant id second app client id and our app secrets client secret so this also is ready here so this session we have to pass it here copilot studio agent create and once the object has been created, the Copilot Studio object, we have to pass it here. So basic setup is ready here. And there is a still warning. Ah, so this is experimental. So we have to disable this warning. So here I add warning disable, disable. So all the warning is gone. Uh, from this step, we created the object to connect our Microsoft Copilot Studio agent. So finally, we will call the invoke function to call our to send our prompt to the Microsoft Copilot Studio agent. So wait for each. This one is a chat message content and chat message in agent in copilot studio agent dot invoke so we have to pass uh, our prompt so the prompt is uh, trip to Germany 
and we just print the information. Console dot right line, chat message dot content, and finally we just console dot read. So we run this application and connect our Microsoft Copilot Studio agent. Start here. We got the exception. This is the expected behavior because we have to tell which agent I should connect. Because Microsoft Copilot Studio, you have created a number of uh, agents based on your uh, you know requirement. Which agent we should connect? So for that, we have to pass the environment ID and so stop the application. Go to Copilot Studio. So I plan to connect the safe travel. Go to the settings and go to the advanced option and go to the metadata. And here you can see this environment ID and the schema name. These two information we have to pass in our connection settings. So I just note down this environment ID copy and go to Visual Studio connection settings dot environment ID. So we here we have to pass the environment ID and we have to pass the schema also connection string dot schema name we have to pass it. So the schema name again go to and copy the schema name. Visual Studio pasted here. That's it. So we created the connection settings with environment ID and schema name. Now we'll run this application and get the result from our safe travel agent. Our prompt sent to the safe travel agent trip to uh, Germany and safe travel agent responds to the prompt. So the response we get in the semantic kernel and we just display in the console application. Here are some important points to consider when planning to trip to Germany and including the reference. So this is just an example how to connect Copilot Studio in outside environment.